All right, first question here today. Seven. Okay, here's our first question I'd like to go over. Okay, all right. Uh, I have three problems. That's all I want to go through today. That way we can get to it. All right, first question. So we can rest. All right. Per se. I have to rest. We're going to do this top one. The, uh, tritium. Tritium. All right. Oh, right on. Okay, so. We can kill Superman. Uh, the only thing keeping me going is something more than The only thing keeping me going is, um, no, I loaded. Alright, and we want to know what happened. I didn't have practice yesterday. No, you didn't. Okay, alright. Let's get rid of that. Alright. So, okay, first question. This one talks about uh, tritium. It wants to know the half-life of this particular substance. That's all it tells you. It tells you it wants to know half-life. It wants to know um, it wants to know the actual like lifespan when it will actually decay halfway. And it gives you the decay rate, which is five percent. Okay, five point five percent. Okay. So what this means? This is the formula we use for population growth. Or for um, for half life, it's uh, a equals a to the zero e to some rate t. Okay, now the rate, which is k, right. that's your decay rate. <laughs> so if it's going up in population, you use positive numbers. If it's going down in population, you use negative. So in my case, I'm using negative zero point zero five five. That's it's going down. It's decaying five point five percent. And then we're going over some time span. Now the tough part about this is that's all they give you. Right? But they're saying half-life. So you can put any number you want in for, in for this, in for a to the zero. But on, on the other side, you just always have to use half. Five. So, so yeah, so if you use 10 and 5, perfect. That's no fun. So if you used uh, 2 and 1, it doesn't really matter. As long as you understand that on this side is, is the population you're getting to, or the, the amount of substance you're going to. So maybe at 10 grams, you're going down to 5 grams. That's a half-life. Right? So, because what you'll notice is when you do that first step, when you actually, when you want to solve for T, you divide by 10, that's where the half shows up. And it says you're finding half life. Okay? So, because you divide by 10, you immediately get 1 over 2 equals E to the negative 0 0.055 T. Okay, we good. Okay, let's make sure we get rid of the computer. Thanks. All right. So now, now, we're going to take the natural log. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. Uh, when you do that, here's what we have. Natural log, natural log. We're going to drop it down out front. Negative 0 0.055 T. Natural log half. Last step here is you're going to divide by that negative 0 0.5. 0, negative 0 0.055. And that will give me the T that I'm looking for. So this is your time for, for that number. Natural log of half, negative 0 0.055. And you can type that in, and it gives you the half-life. Okay, actually typing this in, here's what we have. Um, we're going to divide by negative 0 0.055. We get 12.6 years. Wow, that's actually uh, pretty short. Yeah, short lifespan. Okay. Is that radioactive? Uh, that I don't know. I'd have to look it up. We should do radium. So, I don't know. So. Can we do radium? Let's do yeah. plutonium. The book has a ton of different ones. I just pulled one of these from the book. So, Okay, hey, are we good with the example that I did? Please. Now, this works for population as well. What? You can do the exact, you can do the exact formula for if population is growing over time, figure out its growth rate and what it's predicted to be. Let's okay. Find so, okay, we'll do that here in a second. So, all right, questions on the whole tritium aspect. Does anyone still need that? No. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the next one. No. Okay, next example. Let's do a population problem now. What an opportunity. All right, so let's get rid of this. Uranium. Okay. Uranium. Okay, all right, population numbers now. Okay, we'll just do the, uh, let's do like Madagascar, this one. Bulgaria! Okay, so, 
This one. Now, on this one, I won't have growth rate, but we can use this to predict other things. So, uh, we're going to use Madagascar. Okay. What? Madagascar. Madagascar. Why do you write? Gasker. Because I'm going to get rid of it here in a second. 19.4 mil, 32.4 mil. And a goose egg over there. In the okay. Mel. And the question is, they want to know growth. Okay. Growth or decay, I should say. Is that in percentage? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a percent in that in that box. All right, let's get rid of the... Uh, Sure this. All right, so for Madagascar, they're giving me the initial population, they're giving me what it's turning into, and they want to know growth. And then what we can do is we can use this to find a secondary prediction. We don't have how many years, okay. though. That's what we're going to look at. We can, we, can look at um, we can look at how many years it took us to grow to this point, right? Um, so the idea is that let's say the defaultly, like default on this particular problem, Let's say it was defaultly like five years between um, between census. Um, census okay? uh, so, say, so, so five year census. This is census okay? census. So five year census. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna actually plug that into my actual formula. So here's the idea: a to the zero um, is the initial population. That's my 19.4. E to the um, the k. And now my years. We're gonna use five as my default. Unless they told me otherwise. Or ten. Um, now, on that particular problem, there was years there. They did have years. If we look at the problem, they said this was like 2000, 2005, or whatever. But whatever the numbers were. Let's say it's five years. Okay. All right. So these numbers here, we're going to use the 19.4 well, and 32.4. Now, I don't need to put in like millions. I don't need to put all those zeros if the numbers are the same. No, if I was going from millions down to hundred thousand, oh, then you have to put the thousand, hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to put it in terms of that. Okay. All right. Uh, but let's let's plug in the numbers here. So if we divide this over, my population is definitely going up. So this is thirty-two point four divided by nineteen point four. We have the e to the five k. We're going to take the the natural log of both sides. So natural log of 32.4 divided by 19.4, and that we just have to make, make sure the parentheses close there. We take the natural log of this side, so the 5k can drop out front, because that's how natural logs work. You have the power rule. And then what I'll do is, once you drop it out front, the natural log of e just goes away, because that was in the back. Natural log of e is one. And natural log of 32.4 over 19.4. Just making sure that we have that parentheses closed, and then you divide by five. Well, why this is important? If you do your math right, it should give me a percent on my calculator. So natural log of 32.4 divided by 19.4, and we're going to divide this. Divide that. Uh, by five. Natural log 32.4 divided by 19.4. Divide it all by five, five. and we get. It's uh, the number that my calculator is telling me. It's telling me this. It's telling me zero point one zero two six. Okay, what that number is? That's a ten percent growth. That's huge. Okay, over five years. That's jobs of people. Yeah, what is it? Ten point one percent. Okay. All right. Now, here's the thing. Why? Why we? Why would you ever want this? Is they can use this number. They can use this number that. They can predict what would happen if we stay at the same rate. Right. What would happen yeah. in the next five years or the next 15 it's not years? Projectable um, so, roughly. yeah, and so you can use this to, to predict. But again, it's just a predictor. It's not accurate numbers. But why why this 10.2 is important is because now if I wanted to go out to let's say Madagascar. Um, yeah, let's say I want to go out to uh, let's say I want to go out to 2028. Okay. Just some some random number, and you know this number that we had here was from 2018. That was the 30. Uh, was that 32.4? Let's say that was the number. We can use this to predict this if I use the 10 percent as my rate. Can we do 2024? And so, what? Kanye supports Trump. He won't step over. So, uh, but anyways. Um, but if we're, if we're using this, you have to look at the dates. So this was, what, 10 years? So if we're plugging this into my formula here, they gave me basically all the numbers that I need because I have the years as 10. My growth rate was 10%. Um, growth rate was 0 0.10026. Um, and that's, that's a positive. 
Um, that's over E. My initial population was 32.4, and I'm looking for what the population will be down the road. All right, questions, comments about that one? That is a big growth. Yeah. It is, no. yeah. What's the typical population growth of Garner? Can you calculate Garner? Yeah, I bet half a percent. We could look up the census. Depends on what year, depends on if they open a new factory, it could be way bigger. So. Uh, let's look up the growth of I, Garner. I know. So, yeah, that's pretty big for especially okay, Madagascar. Probably, probably not realistic. <laughs> you know Madagascar? What's the fastest growing country in the world? world? I don't know, probably India or China. Probably. It's China. Just because of sheer population size, uh, they just grow faster than we would. Yeah, China has the baby Did you know Waukee is a good true. Yeah, that's true. That is a good fact. So probably India then? That is a good fact. India okay. does have a lot right. of people. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, we good with this stuff though? That in China, you can only have two. All right, here we go. But next, you have three points. You have a couple billion votes there. All right, so here we go. One point five. Okay. Hey, last example. Hey, Mr. Ward, I have a question. What happens if you have more than two children in China? They take them away and they kill them. That's what I said. First of all, you say take them away and slaughter you. All right, here we go. Yes, it is. Yes, it's all your money. Yes, it is. 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 Yes, he would probably have to the nice stress out a lot. Kill two! Just well, you know they hit metal so they probably didn't even know. Do you think they either or the long thing? It's like a buffet. There's three. All right. Hey. Okay. Hey, last problem of the day. I did one of these, I think, Monday, but we didn't really cover it yesterday. Um, this, this particular, uh, this problem represents infection rates. Um, what this is, this is a max population of a, of a city. This is max population of a city. So, uh, so like, let's say we're dealing with like Mason City, Iowa, which isn't 50,000, but let's say its max size can go to 50,000 before, you know, infrastructure needs to be changed and stuff for water and stuff. So this, this is infection rates. And what we, what we can use this for um, this this style of problem or this formula, you can actually predict what the initial what the initial population that's sick. If this is maybe this is like a maybe this is not a flu, but maybe this is a cold. Okay, colds are breaking out, and they're trying to predict you know how many how many are going to be sick initially. So how you do this? You plug in zero into the T. Now. Why do you do that? Why you plug zero into T? This is what zero represents in terms of T. This represents your time at week zero. Week zero. Okay, hey, let's go. Then that's one. Zero. I got nineteen point nine. Because if you make anything to the zero power, it's one. One. Oh, that makes sense. So put anything to the zero. This is a one. So now what we have is this. One plus two. <coughs> okay, this is what we have on the bottom. Can we just combine and then, then you'd actually combine those as 2,501. Take the 50,000 divided by that, and this is the initial size, the initial size at first of what they figure out for the cold. So maybe at population time at this this time, um, you take 50,000 and you divide by 2,501. So it's about 20 people. 19.9. So, initial infected, um, 20 people had a cold, and then what we can do now is now that you know that, like how many people initially, the, that's what they call ground zero, that's like, that's patient zeros, that these are the people that started it at time zero, and then, then it goes along the path where you can now plug in T for like weeks down the road, like maybe this is nine weeks down the road or eight weeks, you can plug in that number in, and you can figure out what would happen. Now, what would happen down the road at you know, let's say nine weeks later? You can plug in nine. Um, if you wanted to know how many weeks it would take you to get to a thousand people, billion. Okay, you could do that, where you could leave the T. And we did a problem like that on Monday, where where the T is the thing you solve for. That's okay. the one you're pregnant. So I have a question. Yes. Nine weeks. <laughs> <laughs> How can you just plug in nine instead of two weeks? Um, because, because this yeah, formula is based on weeks. That's oh, uh, they okay. would probably give you a descriptor above. Uh, usually it's any time frame. Uh, but again, they set this up for a, a, like initial like initial testing 
versus maybe a week or two later, and then they use that formula for terms of weeks. So, and this is like growth rates. This would be, you know, the other numbers, and they have a default one for different diseases because you know growth rates of diseases, uh, or the, what type of disease it is. It grows at a different rate. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of an interesting thing. So this would maybe represent cold. I think Justin has a question. So. Justin has a question. Have you ever been part of a lab test at like Mayo? No, not a lab test. I've been part of the psychology test at Iowa State. About so, what? Because they, they, give give they give you extra credit if you do them. So I'm like, oh, yes, I'm yes. So, what was it for? Um, you had to take like a 300 question test. Oh my gosh. And you had to do it like six times in a month period. Did you do better each time? I don't know. They just keep asking the same questions to see how long your attention span lasts until you just give up. <laughs> Did you last the all three? Yeah, it took me like an hour to do each one. It was stupid. So, so how much extra credit did you do? Each session we did. So what type of question? It was just like, um, what was your family like? Family life like at home? Um, are you happy? Or it was like just a right out. No, no, it was a bubble sheet. It was like one to five. What's your scale? And then they switch it up every question, so you really had to pay attention. So. Oh, I would just be going with like I strongly resist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want to see because they give you credit for people who actually take it seriously. So, and I got a ton of extra credit doing that. How much? So, um, enough where I got 109 percent my biology college class. Why? Okay, why wouldn't you just stop doing it? Did you say that? Because it carried over to other classes. So, I made my GPA. GP. Uh, GPA. What was your college GPA? 4.0. Yeah, 3.2, I think, something like that. Pretty good. So, yeah, that's pretty good for math. Yeah, I was. Because it doesn't matter. Have yeah. you ever? No, I know. It was pretty good. I had a pretty good GPA. You were part of a psychology test. Oh you talk about that? I wasn't listening. We just yeah, talked about, about the whole so. story. Yeah, he's not gonna go over it again. Mr. Ward, what a missed opportunity! Hey, Mr. Ward, would you ever willingly participate in a lab test? Me? How about a test that's like, okay, okay, water and water? Okay. okay. I don't know, experimental drug. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Put everything away. Put a calculator and a pencil. What if it can cure your OCD? So. What if I am capable of doing this all without a calculator or a pencil? <laughs> that's fine. Good luck to you. I can write it with my laser. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay. All right. Words. Make sure you spread out. It's an extra touch. Spread out. Close the beard. Oh, I still need an idea. You just got there. What groups am I on this? Is this a graded exercise per se? Very graded. This is a track exercise. Yeah. yeah. If you have notes, you can use those. If you don't. Ha <laughs> You told me you were going to do this. <laughs> Guess who doesn't have notes? This guy. All right. There's only three questions. All right. Okay. Put your name on it. I don't know that one for Okay. Put your name, date, all the good stuff. He didn't tell us because I didn't care. JP can give a rant. Let me get rid of this. All right. That's your homework. You got to write it down. Eh. That's that's not what you need to put on this thing, but. Do rats have eyebrows? Is this a pop quiz, Mr. Ward? Do rats have eyebrows? Oh my god. Oh, you gotta say it. Say this is a pop quiz. So. Are you gonna put this back up on the board? This is a yeah, I'm putting this back up at the end. This is a right. pop quiz. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, first one. Okay, first one. Krypton, 85, whatever it is. It has a decay rate of 6.3. I want you to find the half-life, the number of years. Okay, so hopefully you're paying attention. I just did these problems. That's why I did them literally on the board. Just did so literally just did all three of these. So, I have a question. so if you're paying attention, which I... Wait, so if we, if we get a number to the exact population, we can just answer them? <coughs> no, because I use different numbers. Wait, so, I have a question. That's but I did the exact type of problem, so. Will it, ma will it matter if we picked a random amount? Random amount? Yeah, because I want to see the work. Wait, no, it's something like Is this graded or are you just checking Oh, the oh, you're talking about the, the, the grams? Yeah. Grams. Are you going to test the equations? Yeah. Oh, the equation you're going to use on these top two? Yeah, that will make fun. The default one if you're really paying attention. P, 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 Shut up, Lars. Lars, we're trying to take a pop opportunity here. Okay. So I want to know the, the number of years for its half life. So hopefully you're paying attention. What if we want? Well, good luck to you. <laughs> Why do you think I threw a pop quiz? Because I felt some people weren't paying attention to my notes. Pop opportunity. We'll do this more and more, depending on whether people pay attention or not, and I'll make them harder and harder as we go. That would suck. I think people should just start paying attention. So. I agree.
Okay, make sure you're on this little piece of paper you have your main date and period on there. And you should have plenty of room to do this. These things do not take a lot of room, especially you can use the back. What's the date? May 2. Second today. Wait. So, yeah, there's three questions. So, I'm going to slide this up. So. Did you have this planned out, though, if you already had these on here? Mm -hmm. I haven't planned for a while whether I was going to do it or not. Wait, there's a third question? Yeah, one more question after this. Oh, wow. This is like a test. Wow. Okay, census taken for population in Houston is the second question. Um, the data reported was 44.4 million people in 2008. In 2017, it was reported to be 55.2 million. Uh, knowing the dates is important intent. Um, then once you have that growth rate, then you can use it to estimate the population in 2028. This is like a three step problem. Yep. Three steps. That's difficult. Three step problem. Again, the formulas for these top two are that formula I have on the board, so it's pretty straightforward. Pretty Second one for the census is kind of an important deal. Oh. You said that if it's decay, it'll be negative, but then that makes the whole thing because we're dividing by negative. No. Never mind. That Velocity doesn't good. know what she's doing. You can't have yeah, negative numbers. numbers. I know you can't have negative numbers. It'll be positive decay. It'd be cool if you took that. If that's okay. Cool. You took notes. I know. Okay, well, Good thing I didn't take notes. Good thing I didn't either. Um, Mr. Ford, will you be frustrated if we get this right and we don't take notes? No. Okay. So he wants us. Some people are more skilled than others. I just take mental notes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ward well, wants us to succeed. I take like, notes that I think are important. And oh, my okay. oh, 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 yeah, oh. So, yeah. Oh, I, see, I see what you mean here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Is everyone done with the top one? No. Yes. Yes. No. Just go. No. Oh, you need a little. Could you just you minimize it? You could put all three in them. It's too small. Could you just deal? I mean, maybe if we tried it. Well, yeah. you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Until you try. That's what I always say. Alright, here we go. Okay. 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 You have your formula. I'm giving you that formula. Looks somewhat familiar. This represents the number of infected people in terms of weeks. <laughs> oh, I want to know the initial amount of people that were infected. And then I want to know how many infected were nine weeks later. This is the total. This is where I'm going to put my number. I know what I did wrong. I'm just kidding, Lauren. That was fun. You got me there. You almost tricked me. Oh, he's trying to make you better mathematics. There we go. 
be a kind of almost has there, but like he did. In terms of math. Bottom one should be easy, but this top two will actually take a little bit of time, especially number two. That should take you the longest. Okay, make sure your name's on it, date, all good stuff. Okay.